Hi, how's everyone go doing tonight? Tonight we're coming with you. We got a very special ration here I picked up off the internet. This is a Ukrainian 24 hour ration. Take a look at the outside here. Been f filling with the lights here. I still can't get rid of this glare, so I apologize for that. Be working on it the next couple of videos I make. But it's the outside. Don't see, I don't speak a ounce of Ukrainian, so I can't tell you much about what that says. Other than what I ran Google Translate on. This has, was produced November 28th of 2019 and is good till October 3rd of 21. Focus in on you. Yeah, that's good she's going to get. But anyway, so after running Google Translate on it, our headline here basically says everyday set of dry products. These are just some initial letters and seems to match up with what this says. And if you look here, it actually does. I didn't even do that until right this moment. And anywho, it's like a lot number, something of that sort. So other than that, I have absolutely no idea, for the most part, what I'm getting into with this. So we will go ahead and get her opened up. Let's see what we got in there. I can't really tell you a weight on this. I don't have a scale, and it's not on here. It's pretty heavy. If I had to guess, I'd put it in about the two, two, two and a half pound range. So, without further ado, they're open. And exactly as I thought it would be. Ukrainian rations. These are all broken up into breakfast, lunch, dinner modules. So I'll have to translate those. Uh, I'm guessing that's breakfast. I'm going to say they come out in the right order. That would have been breakfast. I don't know if that's right or not. That would be lunch. Yeah, and this last one here would be considered dinner. Get some kind of crystal powder, crystalline substance in it. It's almost like sugar. Oh well, we'll find out. So quickly here, so I don't have to do too much editing on this bad boy. Might end up having to do it anyway, but let's try not to. I'm going to pull Google Translate, but of course I can't find it on the old cell phone. Where the heck did you get off to? There she is. Alright, let's make sure my theory is correct. Maybe she'll translate. No, it doesn't make this one shorter. That might be easier. Aim at text, I'm aiming at text. Of course, I won't tell me any of these things are. Alright, yes, that is correct. This last one's supper, so. So, my theory in that would be correct. And this one here is breakfast. So, let's check out breakfast. And I'll keep these all together for when it's time to eat them, so I don't have to guess. Start off with, we got this nice big can here that looks, looks like kasha. Not exactly sure, obviously I'll translate that up. Check out the can, there we go. She looks like, have I couldn't even tell you. So again, this is going to be another, let you know what it is when I translate it. Probably some kind of pate, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Dig in here, oof, that one got, got some battle scars on her, but we got crackers of some sort, 50 gram pack you can see there. And again, we got a really, really lowly napkin. <laughs> They're off using your sleeve. Uh, what do we got? 
feels maybe like a wet nap. I think that's what it is. But we'll, again, we'll find out. Leave that, there's a little bit of English on there. That's instant coffee. And then, three of these bad, but I think that's what that is. It looks like it's leaking out of one of these. That's got to be sugar. I don't even need to translate that sugar. All right, so that's what we got here for our breakfast. Press that all back together, get her out of there. Next up, check out our lunch. Another nice big can. Yeah, not a, not a bit of English on that bad boy. But we'll figure it out. Some kind of meat, the picture pretty much tells you that. So, that, we got our little junky napkin again. Got crackers again. We're making a bit of crumbs here. Got some few things in here leaking, it looks like. Looks like another wet nap. That almost steady up black tea, says right at the bottom. And three more sugars. That's our lunch. A little bit less for lunch, look at that. And lastly, we have our dinner. off with another one of these big lovely canes that even looks like a kind of kosher type food so again we'll translate this and give you a better idea of what we're dealing with 325 gram it looks like and you got oh, fumble. two more packs of biscuits crackers if you want to call them more of our black tea there. Another napkin. Another what I'm pretty sure is a wet nap. And we got this is honey. These are two sachets of natural honey. And lastly our sugar. All right, if you notice, and I there's no cutlery or anything included in here, so I'm gonna have to guess, you, yeah, there's a we sugar, by the way. Ukrainians use some kind of mess kit. Um, I didn't look it up at this point, but maybe before I edit this video down, I'll uh, figure that out and include it. So for now, we'll stop here. We'll get her all laid out, heat it up, etc., and go from there. Stick around. All right, and uh, we're going to heat this up rather than putting these cans on my little stove here or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open these cans up. I'm going to put them in my little pot here and heat them up on the camp stove and then get them out onto the trays. So I'm not going to bore you and show you each one heating up. That's just silly. So I'm going to open this one up. This is our breakfast one. And I'll just show you what it looks like when I open up each can quick. And then you'll get to see it at the end. A little juice there. So open that up. There we go. A lot of fat in that, as you can see. Like I said, so that's our breakfast. This one is the lunch. Then I'll get this all translated too, so I can tell you what, exactly what it is. But that looks that looks like kasha there. That's lunch. Then lastly, our dinner. There we go. Looks similar to the breakfast, but not quite. So I don't think they put two of the same thing in one meal so 
But anyways, that's what she looks like cold before heating up. So like I said, we're gonna heat it up on my little camp stove here with my cup. And then you'll see the, the end product when it's all heated up out on the trays. So, we we'll grab. All right, and we're back. Thank you for joining us for uh, breakfast here. As you can see, we got it all laid out on our tray here. After doing some uh, translation with the good old Google Translate, <clears throat> two of the cans were kasha. One, it's not translating very clearly. One appeared to be buckwheat with rice. Uh, not buckwheat, Jesus. Beef with rice. And the other one is beef with uh, buckwheat, like pearl barley, basically. And, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the difference, and the other one was just uh, beef in jelly. It actually said hunting in jelly, <clears throat> but it looks like to be beef. So we'll find out when we taste it, but that's what I think it is. So anywho, here we are. We got breakfast. Um, there's not a whole lot to prepare after you heat up your main. The only drink with this one is our coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. Actually... I forgot my electric tea kettle in the other room to heat this up, so while that goes and my son gets that for me, we'll go ahead and we will check out our crackers. Apparently these are wheat flour crackers from the translation, so we'll find out. Bit on the thick side. I thought for a minute it felt salt, but doesn't seem to be. A little bit on the hard side, but not too bad. Focus in there. Focus on this. But anyway, that's what she looks like. To me, they taste almost stale. Not a whole lot of flavor to them. A bit dry. Almost tastes stale, but based on the date on that ration, you should be fine. Yeah, 1921. Focus in. There it is. So, yeah, that's a bit weird, <laughs> to say the least. But anyway, at least moisten that up a little bit. We got, oh, that shook all down. We we'll get our coffee going here. Very fine. Very fine. Hmm, nice smell to it, though. Get some of this. Yep, and the sugar in there. Oop, that one's got a hole in it. Still looks to be fine. And we'll get our hot water in it. Up there. Now for the side, and we'll give her, give her a mix. Like I said, it didn't come with any kind of cutlery from the Ukrainians, so we got a good old U.S. MRE spoon. So, and as everyone knows by now, I use milk and mine. They didn't include creamer in this, which is kind of a letdown, but I like my coffee nice and light. Oop. Like she didn't mix all the way through, but I dissolve the coffee, but a few little bits of coffee ain't going to kill no one. A nice smell to it. It's a little bit hot. Very, very mild flavor to it, even though I obviously added the milk to it, so it will be, but even with that amount of milk in it, it still tastes a bit light. But not bad at all. <clears throat> Alright, so we got that. Tasted our crackers. 
Maybe mix it up a little bit and we'll use our Canadian IMP spork here. Give this a little taste. It's our main. This is, I believe, the connoisseur with pearl barley. I lost, I lost track. I apologize for that. She is there. Hmm. Yeah, it's actually pretty tasty. Decent amount of fat in it. It's almost got like a, uh, like a fatty kind of slime texture to it, but it's not bad. It's quite flavorful. To my taste, it's cooked quite well. Taste that bay leaf like you can in a lot of the uh, Russian cooking. But all in all, it's not uh, not too bad. No, not bad at all. I'll get the other hands in here and uh, let them give it a taste. See what they think on that. It smells good. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty decent. Yeah, this smells really good. Mmm. For the I like sake it. of being thorough, mm -hmm. we'll throw some on there. I like it. Yeah, this is really good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Added on that near flavorless cracker, and it's actually pretty decent. Yeah. So while I try some more of that, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this out. This is a pate, almost certainly liver. Go. Yep. Liver pate. I do yeah. not like the cracker. Yeah, I told you it's a bit, yeah, it's, it's not that stale. great. I'm not a huge fan of pates, but I'll try it. That's what she looks like on the cracker. Yeah, it's got that kind of a strong metallic taste you get with like a liver pate, but it's actually pretty strong. I'm, you're not gonna like it. I'll try. I go ahead. I'm just telling you. I know your taste. <laughs> My one son here is even bigger than me. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like it smells. I'll say that. Yeah, that's what I told you. He's off camera here spitting it out. He does not like it. I don't really either. It's not that good. So anyway, let's hang on to that coffee. The only thing left here we didn't look at is this bad boy here. Should have done this in, in the beginning, but I think dirty hands adds a little bit of flavor to the food, right? <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, just a moisty nap. Light, light fragrance to it. Do the job. I'm actually cleaner after the meal than when I started the meal. Go figure that one out. All right, since we, since the way I did this, I'm gonna pause the video here. We'll just swing right on in to lunch and welcome to lunch. As you see here, we have less than the breakfast. We have another one of our wet naps. We have our little napkin, our biscuits again. This is the rice and beef porridge, as far as I could tell. And said the only difference here is that a coffee give you black tea. So, and three more sugars to go. So, fair notch. Go ahead, get our tea out. Nice looking tea bag. Nice strong tea smell, as you would hope. Ooh, come on, get in there. Water in there. Let her steep as long as we can. Since this food's already heated up, there's not a whole lot to do. So we'll let that sit. As we already taste these are the exact same biscuits, so don't even have to taste test them again. Oof, that one. That one's seen better days. But anywho, select a clean weapon of war here. Go ahead. Come on, which way do you like it? 
There we go. There it is. Give her a taste. It smells um. This one is not as good as the first one. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. It's got a little, call it a little weird flavor to it, and it's not very flavorful. The other one had a lot of, yeah, a lot of flavor to it. It was really oh. nice and tasty. Yeah. This one, no. This yeah, one doesn't it, have it. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of taste. No. And a little bit of taste it does have is not not good. I mean, at a minimum, you need to put salt in this thing. At a minimum. And as you can see, with what we got here, they don't even include salt, pepper, nothing. So if I was over in Ukraine, I would definitely be carrying some of my own spices and seasonings. Because it definitely needs that. So this tea hasn't been steeping very long, so what I'm going to do here is the tea with dinner is exactly the same as this one. I'm just going to set this guy off on the side here, and we'll count that as part of our uh, dinner. So, But that's all you got for lunch, not a, not a whole lot. Now go ahead, we'll switch this out, and we'll have dinner. Now dinner's been sitting out a little bit, so there's a little bit of uh, congealing on this gelatin down here, so... It's just normal for for fattiness. And you know what? I'm not even gonna bother to open these up and waste them. If we do decide the biscuit, I'll go ahead and I'll bring one up here from our uh, lunch menu right here. So, so again, we have black tea. They said same exact kind as we had for lunch that we're steeping right now. Put that on the side. We got three sugars again. Another moisty nap. Wet nap, whatever you want to call it. Don't know which way is the right way. There we go. That's good. So anyway, before we get into the tea, we got our it's beef. Looks to be beef. With some gelatin. It's a bit weird to my taste, but oh well. Let the camera catch up if it wants to. There she is. meat and gelatin since I can't tell exactly what kind of meat it is by the translation at least. Yeah, it's got a I'm pretty sure that's beef. It's not bad. Not not a lot of flavor to it. I'm kind of surprised by that. Open out here. Yeah, it's a bit a bit mm. greasy. It's not bad. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's certainly not bad. I mean, I'm not going to talk crap on it because it's actually not bad. Again, I, to my taste, I think this, this thing would definitely benefit from some, some salt at least. Salt, some black pepper at a minimum. But but anyway, bring our tea in here. Now, I'm not a big tea drinker, so I'm going to take this, take this on over ooh, to our resident tea drinker, the wife off camera here. And get her opinion on this. She's a little ways off camera here, so get her take on it. Is it a breakfast tea? Black tea. Black tea. That'd be really good. There we go. From the resident tea drinker and the ration review household here, we have a very good. Now, obviously, the thing's piping hot, so I'm not going to... I don't like piping hot drinks, so I'm not going to go ahead and uh, take a sip of it right now. I'll try it later. If I think anything remarkable about it, I'll include it uh, when I edit this thing down. But if not, we got a good ranking from our resident tea drinker. Now, what we could add to the tea, and what we could throw on some of these biscuits here, is we do have our sachets of natural honey. So... Yep, looks like a notch here. Yep. There we go. We'll get our flavorless biscuit here and see if we can give her a little life. There we go. Natural. Oop. A little close there. Apologize. As it's running on my hand, that's what she looks like. Mm. Mm, that's nice. Nice and very sweet, as you would expect. I guarantee you that would be awesome in that honey. Now, but Jesus, in that tea. I love honey, so I'm probably <laughs> going to like it, but the biscuit I don't like. 
Sorry. What, would you like some for the tea, natural honey? Honey's great in tea. This honey's actually really good. Oh, I'll tell you this. I'm not really a honey eater. I really don't eat it at all. Except for when I'm, like, sick. This is delicious. <laughs> Yeah, put some in there. Give me some because I can stir it up. Yeah. And there's some darn good honey. I'm actually going to go ahead and rank this honey as the best part of this ration, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really good. And now i got a reason to use this wet nap because i got the uh, honey all over my hand here and I'm sticky. So while I do that, while he's tasting it with the honey. Oh, that's what this, the tea needed this. That yeah, um, stepped it up. Really, for for this being like a, a ration, like an MRE thing, this amazing tea. There you really go. Good. All right, so the tea got a good review. Most of the things in here got a pretty decent review, except that pate. I really, I really did not care for that. Followed by my next, le my next least favorite thing would be these biscuits. They just taste soggy. I, I don't know how else to say it. He's got a sogginess to him that just I don't like. Other than that, the, the, the meats, the mains, those are all pretty good. They, they went from really good to kind of good. And the other, the other two that I say were kind of good would be really good if you put some seasoning into it and seasoned them up. But anyway, now to go ahead and uh, end it for this review here. As always, please hit the, give me a subscribe, a like. Leave some comments, feel free. I try to I I check the channel pretty frequently and try to get back to you. And other than that, y'all stay safe out there. Keep keep working together and we'll get through this rough patch of uh time we're in. And that's it. So we'll catch you on the next one. Again, stay safe out there and bye bye.